Hey friends! First thing I want to say is I'm so glad you're here. I'm getting to know some of you. It's been really fun for me, really helpful. I spend a lot of time alone here in my studio and it's good for me to connect with you guys. It really helps. And then I want to thank you all. Thank you, thank you. I have a new microphone and I think it's going to help. So I have a fan running in the background, so let me know if you can hear that, but that should help keep my studio a little cooler. Um, and it should also help when I turn my head and do things, you should still be able to he hear me pretty well. So let me know what you think. And thank you, thank you, thank you for sending money through Venmo and PayPal to support this channel. Uh, when you buy prints on my online store, you send money for the traceables buy an original it all helps I really 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 appreciate it and then we're gonna paint Callie I've got her printed out here and I've got her transferred on to my canvas so this is the second of three portraits you can kind of see I really marked out quite a few of her landmarks because she's got a lot of detail to her um, you can check out the first video of Zoe probably posted six weeks ago. It takes me about a month to paint this because um, I can't, I do other things. I don't work on it, you know, eight hours a day. Plus you couldn't work on it eight hours a day. It's kind of like doing a complicated puzzle. You work on it, you step away, you look at it at a distance. Well, you don't look at a puzzle at a distance, but you look at it, um, see how it's going, take a break, that kind of stuff. Here's, here's the, Oh, what I want to call it. So here's what I'm aiming for. I, how she's going to be cropped, how I'm going to paint her. Isn't she cute? I love the eyes. Oh, and then I've also got, because it printed out so dark here, I've got Callie on my iPad. Oh, come on. There, here, we'll turn her this way. Because even though it's backlit, which is sometimes a problem when you're painting portraits, it's it's about as good, or it's a little bit better than this printout on my computer, and it's definitely better than this printout. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the same colors. You can see Zoe's video for how I handled saving the paint, painting three large uh, 16 by 20 canvases in case I have to go back and make adjustments. Um, check out Zoe's video for that all that and then how I taped used artist tape and stuff like that so I'm going to use the same colors as Zoe raw sienna uh, thalo blue oh mars black and titanium white unbleached titanium yes I love liquitex <laughs> burnt umber and then um, this is called light portrait pink. I think there's a very similar color out now just called light pink. And then for Callie, I'm going to use for her eyes mostly and her nose, which have a little bit different color than Zoe, uh, Naples yellow. And then quinacridone magenta, I'm probably going to mute it down with some of the browns. And then, I don't know, but I think I'm going to use this vivid lime green and mute it down to get some of the bright greens in her eyes. Okay, and I think the rest of this video will be time-lapse to keep it shorter. The, about the first 10 minutes of Zoe's video is strategy, um, how I, you know, transferred her onto the canvas, how I'm saved the paint, I already mentioned that. Okay, let's have some fun and get started. Oh, and I'll be back at the end to say goodbye because I always have to say goodbye to you guys. Okay.
friends, I'm done with Zoe. Well, I'm done and what I'll do is I'll let it sit on the easel for a couple of days and I don't, here, I don't know if you can see this or it'll be weird because it's on my iPad. Oh yeah, that looks really weird. <laughs> um, that's the iPad photo of Zoe is what I'm painting from more than my, um, my mock-up because the mock-up's from my printer and it's kind of blown out in areas. I can't really see the details. Um, so I'll look at it for the next couple of days and see what I like and don't like about it. Um, maybe if I can get it a little wider. Here, you probably want to see it up close. So basically, I don't know if I mentioned this. So I painted Zoe. Um, it posted a couple weeks ago. It's a Chihuahua mixed dog, really cute, big black ears, uh, black nose. And I painted Zoe first. I'm gonna paint Andy next. Uh, but basically what I do is I find all the edges, find all, you know, close to the right values, find, you know, find the shapes and the swirls, that kind of thing. And then I come back and paint the whole thing again. So it's a little rough the first time through. And then I come back and I can get some, um, Oh, just more subtle blending in areas, more first strokes. Isn't that kind of fun, some first strokes? But once you have the shapes and sort of the underpainting, it makes it easier to come back and add the little, little details. I don't know how close I can get that <laughs> and see where, where I'm aiming. Here, you probably want to see the collar. So I put the whiskers on. I just love Callie's face. So she's got to be kind of like a tabby torty mix. Really interesting, very pretty cat. Oh, here you probably will see the eyes. It's a lot of colors, a lot of value changes in the eyes and even some bright highlights and then some not so bright highlights. There's the nose and the mouth. So when you see it on the video or when you see me painting, you know, the time lapse, when you get it back, there's not a lot of wet on wet blending. I mean, I have some in little sections, but it's more optical layers and values. I'm, I'm not optical layers, but values and tones. And then when you get a little bit back from it, it optically blends and looks almost real. But then when you get it up close, you can see there's just layers and shapes. It gets pretty complicated, but it's just layers and shapes. So isn't that kind of neat? Okay, what else do I want to say? Um, let me know what questions you have. Uh, this is really fun. I don't, it took me, oh gosh, I lost track. I think this is about three weeks. We're in the middle of, um, June as I'm filming this. So I think it took me about three weeks, maybe two weeks. It depends how much time I can work on it each day. I ended up working on it for about five hours today, which really, uh, I made a lot of progress today. Okay. Let me know what questions you have in the comments. Thank you. Thank you for all your support. It's been super fun to get to know some of you and I'm meeting new people all the time. I love that about YouTube and Facebook too. Those are the best places to find me. I have giveaways on Facebook if you want to check those out. They're usually about the third week to the end of the month is when they happen. Um, thank you for hanging in there with me on this one and be sure to keep an eye out for Andy that's coming up in about a month I suppose. Great big happy art hugs. I hope to chat with you guys soon. Bye guys.